today we are starting a new project Valen uh, aka buddy of course is behind the camera as always um, it's I usually either gonna be him or Boston aka sissy aka not not your cameraman uh, well, she produces and helps me do other things behind the scenes so here um, I wanted to introduce you <laughs> to um, this piece of work I'll call it that for now um, so a lot of you have come along with us for this ride in many different capacities. We switch, change, but at the end of the day, we've always been bits and pieces. Um, a little bit of this, a piece of that makes up our whole lives. Good, bad, all of it makes our lives up. But, so we have to take those bits and pieces and turn them into the best life we can. And so that's what I try to do through our furniture and our different pieces that we create. And sometimes it's painful for some people to watch. Sometimes they're looking on like, I don't understand what she's going through. I don't know what she's doing. But the God in you should be driving you to do what you're doing, even when it doesn't make sense to anyone else. And so you keep going. That spirit that is dwelling with inside of you that's leading you and guiding you, you listen to it, listen to it. So I said that all of that to say, I found this um, tattered and battered and beat down gorgeous mink coat at a local thrift store and they were pretty much giving it away for you know a minimal cost I don't even think I paid 10 bucks for it um, the lady was shocked that I even wanted it because she had it up as display just to hang purses and stuff on and she didn't have this part showing of course so me of course being the person that can always see the beauty within anyone or anything I asked her if I could take a look at it and she said uh, sure if you want to as if to say I don't know why you want to but okay so I pulled it up and saw all the battered and t torn and so I asked her I said are you willing to sell it and she said well, I hadn't even thought about it because I didn't think anybody would want it in the shape that it's in how many of us don't realize the opportunity we have even in our battered and torn times in the shape we're in right now you have the ability to make something out of nothing and so I asked her I said if you're willing to sell it I guarantee you I'll give it a good home and I will make use of the shape that it's in so that, that's a word for somebody um, make use of the shape you're in make use of the shape that you're in no matter where you are in life make use of it so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do so I've had the coat for probably about a month now wasn't sure what I wanted to do to it had a couple ideas here and there but now I know what I want to do with it I know that I'm going to create a pair of slides and I'm going to create a purse or two I'm thinking a clutch and possibly our signature crossover bag. 
so we'll see. Um, I'm gonna um, get going and we'll be back. I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, yeah, take a picture. That's a good idea, buddy. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. So I am getting ready to find a great spot to start on the coat, cutting it apart to add to my slides. Remember, I'm going to, my first project with this beat up and battered coat, this mink is to add the mink to the shoes. The slides to the, the fur to the slides. No, show me. Oh, sorry. And this is just a cheap pair of, thank you, um, cameraman. Um, this is just a cheap pair of slides that I got from the local beauty supply there, you know, by Prima. I don't even know who that is, but I didn't want to buy anything too expensive till I see how the project turns out. So you just want to get a cheap pair of slides or if you don't care and you want to cover some old ones, you can do the same thing in whatever fabric. But, and I know some of this may be painful for you PETA lovers and animal lovers. I did not um, kill this mink or this animal to get this, but I did not want to see this beautiful um, fur go to waste either. So I'm going to try and make as fish use of it as I can since it's already here. There's no sense in letting it die in vain. So I, I think am... that's a lion fur. No, it's definitely not. What is it then? Definitely a mink. A, a mink. A mink? Yeah, there's a such animal called mink. Look them up. Google it. Um, Sorry, sure. But anyway, it's, it's just beautiful, beautiful. So that's great um, animal skin that we can, uh, animal fur that we can use and try to repurpose it and make some sense of this animal's life. Um, okay, so you can kind of see where I'm going with that. And you want to cut in the smallest spot where you don't have to waste too much of the fur. So you can already see a lot of this is just falling apart and I'm just going to have to throw it away and let it go and it's painful as that is because I want to recycle every shred it's painful but some of it I do have to let go just because it makes such a mess okay but anyway we'll wrap up in a sec you done all right I'm taking pictures take out these pictures said it probably told me Just the shoe. And bye. Okay, bye so just mama. my mouth. Okay, that's good. Keep focus on the shoes. So I want just want to show real quick how we get a pattern for the top of the shoe. So you want to create a pattern um, based on how you want your cover to lay on the top of the shoe. So for me, this shoe um, comes the the. the panel comes over a little bit for but I want to bring my uh, mink cover all the way to the back so I want to show um, I've cut out a pattern already for this uh, right shoe and I'm just going to confirm see I already had it the wrong way I'm going to confirm that that's the way I want it to lay so I'm going to get it almost right to the edge maybe just a little bit over and same way on the sides but what I'm going to do is that you probably don't see on these types of slides on the market now is I'm going to tuck my mink in there a little bit to give you some even better condition, I mean, uh, excuse me, um, more cushion to really, really um, make that comfortable as you slide your feet in there. And so this is already such a nice um, fabric that we're covering it with. I mean, excuse me, skin that we're covering it with um, here. And so we want to make sure that we take good care of it because it really is beautiful and very comfortable and very vintage. So, and I'm just gonna come with my E6000 glue, glue that down all the way around, secure it. Um, but before I do that, I wanna do, create the exact same pattern with the other piece because I already know they're the same size. I mean, they're the same pattern. However, comma, remember to flip this upside down because this is now your left shoe. So what's gonna line up on the right side on the left shoe is gonna be different, okay? So make sure you lay down your main fabric, put your already cut uh, pattern on top of it, 
and then you're just gonna cut around, okay? But make sure you turn your pattern upside down and cut your um, larger piece um, touching one another, okay? All right, we'll complete this project and let you see the end, thanks. Okay, so I am finishing up my um, slide sandal that I'm gonna convert to a uh, fur slide. I cut my um, fur mink piece into the shape of the shoe for the most part. But what I wanna glue is the shoe itself. So no matter how I place the, pat, the um, material on, <clears throat> I can always trim the material into the shape of the shoe versus you know the opposite. So I'm gonna glue the, the, the edges of the shoe Perfect, but you just don't want to get a lot because you don't want it to run over too much. Okay. And we're just going to go back over that to make sure we didn't miss any spots. And I'm going to quickly close that up because it'll ooze. Again, always using E6000 clear. And again, I'm going to find my pattern and I'm gonna place it on the shoe. There we go, it goes that way. And again, as close to the front edge as possible. Pull and tighten over the top of the shoe. And you'll have a little excess just like that, which is fine. That's why we glued to the shoe and not. And we're just gonna pull just a little bit. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, I messed that up. I'm going to have to pull over a little bit. So start on the inside and pull that close to the edge. And I just tuck under because that's going to give me a little cushion. And it's going to feel good. Okay. And there we go. As simple as that. We got two pairs of mink slides for under 20 bucks thanks go follow the blonde fro and bits and pieces boutique online uh oh we got a little piece i'll cut so i'll trim this down um but you can see this one that's already been trimmed and ready to wear follow the blonde fro and bits and pieces boutique thanks bye